Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's pick a card reading is what kind of light worker am I? We have three piles here. Pile number one is represented by a superb druzy. Pile number two is represented by an amethyst cluster. And pile number three is represented by a gypsum rosette. So go ahead and resonate on which pile's right for you. And while you're doing that, I'm going to take this moment to ask that if you like these readings, please hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on all notifications so you can be notified of when I upload. And most definitely, my favorite part of all, leave me a comment down below. I love talking with you guys. You guys really make my day a whole lot brighter. All right, pile one, two, and three. If you need a bit more time, go ahead and pause that video. And let's get started. All right, pile number one. My beautiful, superb, drowsy people. Let's see what kind of light worker you are. We have horse, freedom. Your heart is pure and free. A greater purpose calls you. You have unlimited reserves of stamina and strength. You follow the winds of change and accomplish your dreams. Lynx, keeper of secrets. Take time out from the world and be the observer. Nothing can deceive you when you trust your knowing. You see other secrets and keep them sacred. In silence and solitude, you will find your strength. Heron, patience. Create a place in nature's stillness and be renewed. Take time alone to find balance. Step confidently toward your purpose. Patience will bring you rewards. Lion, higher calling. You have within you all the courage you need. Let go of the past and reclaim your majesty. You will find success and contentment with those by your side. Make noble choices for your life and your tribe. They really missed the mark. They should have said pride. But, and then your outcome card. Frog, prosperity. Let go of the past and embrace change. Opportunities are close at hand. Hop into this new day with joy, abundance, and good fortune await you. What kind of light worker are you? You are someone with a higher calling. You're someone, I'm going to say you might be a, a psychologist, psychiatrist of some kind. Um, or you may be interested in those topics. You may be a tarot card worker. You, um, you I mean, you've got a greater, a greater purpose calls you. higher calling abundance and good fortune are with you so I kind of see tarot card worker psychic psychologist psychiatrist you're someone who helps people heal and you may Helping them heal in a way that brings them and possibly you prosperity. You're someone that hears and sees a lot of secrets. So I really do. That, that That's kind of what I get. You're someone that's meant to, to help guide people. To help listen to their stories and help them figure out what path they're supposed to take. And 
yeah, you're really good at accomplishing the things you set out to do. Then you're going to accomplish this as well. It might just require a little bit of patience, but you have a higher calling. You're meant to do this. You're meant to help people. And you're really good at it. You're going to be prosperous. You can't see my froggies. I'm sorry. Some of you might be Reiki um, healers, but you're a healer of some kind. And I, I, with the Keeper of Secrets here and the Patience, I really get more like you're really listening to people's pains and, you know, ills and helping them. And it's beautiful. And I want to thank you for doing that because the world needs more of that. And that is what I have for you, my beautiful, superb, Drew's Eve people. And I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to watch my videos. And I hope you have a lovely day. Pile number two, my beautiful amethyst folk. Let us see what kind of light worker you are. We have the polar bear mystic know that challenges make you stronger have faith when you face adversity take time to rest dream and renew your strength embrace your psychic abilities you carry the shaman within well there you go what kind of light worker are you you are a psychic you are a shaman you are a healer you may have been drawn to pile number one but I think I kind of feel like you're more like a medical healer as well as, you know, a psychic healer. You could you could practice Reiki. Black Bear, guardian, gentle and wise protector. Give me your confidence and power. Help me protect the ones I love. Awaken my intuition and guide me. So you got two bears here. You got a polar bear and a black bear. So you got a white bear and a black bear. Yin and yang. Dragonfly, magic. I embrace my transformation. I courageously let go of the past. The magic of nature is in me. I am brilliant and I am blessed. I kind of feel like you're meant to be working with animals, pile number one, or pile number two. And your outcome card is Sea Turtle Protection. You are the master of finding life's flow. Be in harmony with the rhythm and your path will unfold. Persevere and you will succeed. You have everything you need to be protected and happy. So what kind of light worker are you? I really feel like you may be someone who really can communicate with animals. You understand what they're trying to say. You may not, of course, speak their language per se, but you're able to sort of translate their language for the rest of us. I feel like you're someone who may be able to help other people who may not be good at words like me today. Sorry. Um, I'm a Virgo and I am filming this on June 28th when Mercury is in retrograde and my tongue is not functioning properly, so I apologize. Um, but you could also just be, um, just forgive me, you could be a seer, um, But I really mostly get, and I don't know why, but I mostly get animals. I mostly get, like, you're here to help animals. You're here to help animals. You, you take care of people. You take care of things. But you really, I don't 
don't know. Some of you, for some of you, and this is not all, this is a very few of you, I'm seeing that um, this is going to come out weird because I know this is not necessarily always seen this way, but some of you are going to be moms and that's how you're going to be doing light work is through raising children. Some of you are going to be foster moms. It, it could even be animal foster moms and that that could be your path. I really, I, I don't know why I keep getting animals in this reading and not so much in the other ones. Um, but like, I, I feel like you're here to, to help. I keep saying animals, but yeah. Um, you're here to help. You're he here to help. I almost want to say translation to in some way, shape, or form. So, thank you, my lovely shamans, my beautiful animal helpers, my lovely, gorgeous, wise souls, those who can translate for those who can't, um, those who understand what other people cannot. I appreciate you. You have a very rare gift at understanding um, those other people cannot. And that makes you very, very special and very, very unique. So remember that you're protected and always practice this gift of yours because it is important for this world. You are important to this world. We need you here. Remember that. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Pile number three. My beautiful gypsum rosette folk. Let us see what kind of light worker you are. We have dragon. Supernatural. You are the ancient wise sage. You can shapeshift at will. Mastery is your destiny. Rise with dignity. Well, you, my lovelies, are seriously powerful and you're really good at giving advice. You're very, very intelligent and wise. You learn not just from your own mistakes, but from other people's mistakes too, and that's something very special. The loon, intuitive. Listen to the song in your soul. Trust your intuition as you have a way of knowing. Emerge from the busy life and seek more solitude. Recognize that you are unique and know that you are loved. B, community. You are a powerful creator. Your work blesses everything you touch. Be open to receiving sweetness. You are the queen or king of abundance. And your outcome card is dog, friend. Today I will love without condition. My energy and enthusiasm are an inspiration. I choose to be happy. I'm a protector and friend. So what I get here for you, pile number three, my gorgeous desert rose folk, is that you are someone people come to for advice. They come to you when they're not sure of what to do in their life. You may be someone who sings, or you may be very good at singing, um, but your intuition is top notch. You kind of would have what some people would call the cunning where you just kind of know things before they happen and you may work in a field that allows you to create things you may be an artist an author um, and through your work you may be healing people through your work uh, but you're a really good friend and kind of everybody who meets you immediately thinks of you as a friend. 
You're a really good soul who really cares about other people. What kind of light worker are you? You're a sage. You're a sage. You're here to, to teach and to help. You may already be a teacher. You may be someone who just kind of mentors people. You may be, um, you may never have considered teaching, but you may have skills that you don't realize are necessary that are, you're going to start teaching people and you're going to be rewarded for that. But you are a really good person. You're a really good friend. And the kind of light worker you are is someone who is here. Yeah, to to be wise, to get for, you're here to help people with advice, with what they should do, where they should go, what they should be. You're here to help teach them. And you're gonna do a wonderful job at it because you're just an amazing person. Look at these cards. The dragon, the loon. The loon has the most beautiful call, in my opinion, of all the waterfowl. And then we have the bee. We have the dog. I mean, these are all amazing animals. All intuitive. All that work on pheromones and that you can count on. Thank you for all you do to help others. You are an amazing soul and you are a beautiful light worker. And I don't know if you read tarot cards or anything. I'm kind of getting more that you're someone who is there to help others through speech of some kind. I get sage, like when I think speech, I'm like thinking talking to them, um, teaching them in some way, shape or form. But I wanna thank you so much, my beautiful gypsum rosette folk for helping us and making this world a better place because of you. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to spend it with me. For those wondering what cards we used, we used the Spirit of the Animals Oracle by Jody Bergsma. I really, really love these cards and I highly recommend them if you love animals. All right, have a good day, guys, and I want to thank you so much for everything you all do. If you stuck around this far, uh, bye, guys. I love you.